going to um, demonstrate all the views to look at the heart. So the main important five views, you have parasternal axis, suprasternal view, four chamber view, five chamber view and subcostal view. The probe which I am going to use is the footprint probe as you see here with the marker this side and also the frequency of this probe is 4 and 12 as you see rightly. Now the first view which I told you the parasternal axis where the probe is kept parasternal area in the second intercostal space with the marker facing to the right shoulder joint to appreciate to appreciate para, uh, the image here as you see. This is your image. I will just freeze and let you know what is this. And this is your right ventricle, interventricular septum, left ventricle, mitral valve, left atrium and the left ventricle opening to the aorta and this is the aortic valve. And behind the left atrium you can also see the aorta, descending aorta. Okay. This is your parasternal long axis. Now, same probe where I kept actually uh, in the parasternal uh, to get parasternal long axis the probe is kept in the second cross space as I told you what I will do is I will just see I am rotating in such a way that the marker is facing to the left shoulder joint to get what is called as parasternal short axis this is your great vessel view where in the great vessel view I just please and show you what is this great vessel view Just please it and show you. This is the root of aorta. You can see this is your left atrium, and then you got right atrium, right ventricle, and opening of the right ventricle into pulmonary artery. And the branches of pulmonary artery, you can see that this is your left pulmonary artery and right pulmonary artery. You can see very near to the aorta. Are you clear about this? This is your short axis, great vessel view. Now, again, I can demonstrate for you short axis short axis mitral view you can see that yeah this is the fish mouth appearance of the mitral valve right ventricle interventricular septum and yeah this is your as so you can see that fish mouth appearance of the mitral valve this is called mitral view clear now I still further tilt it I get you can see papillary muscles see two papillary muscles this is called papillary view okay Still, I can tilt further in such a way that you can see the apex of the left ventricle. These are the four important views one can get on short axis view. Clear? So, short axis great vessel view, short axis mitral view, short axis papillary view, and short axis apex of the left ventricle. Now, the third important view, what you should know, is your four chamber view, where the, ma the probe is kept in such a way that in the nipple area with the marker facing to the left you can appreciate four chamber view four chamber view okay you can see that four chamber view i just okay sorry this is the four chamber view i freeze it and i explain to you this four chamber view you can see right atrium tricuspid valve right ventricle left atrium mitral valve left ventricle okay and you can see a band called the moderator band you can see the band here which is coming this is called as moderator band so you can see the moderator band this is also called a septo marginal band which is characteristic feature of right ventricle this is where in between the left atrium right atrium is the inter atrial septum are you clear about this now I will demonstrate for you what is called as 5 chamber view. The same position for 4 chamber view you have to keep and you can see there, see, I am just tilting in such a way that, yeah, you can see iota is open. So 4 chamber plus opening, the opening of the left ventricle and iota is the 5 chamber view. Okay, are you clear? Now what is suprasternal view? In suprasternal view, make sure that neck is little bit hyper extended, keep the shower, uh, support underneath the shoulder sorry you want this okay enjoy good baby you are now in the suprasternal view 
again the probe is kept in the suprastinal space with the marker facing to the angle of left jaw. You can see this is the angle of left jaw to get actually good one. Yeah, you can see that. Yes, appreciate. Yeah, you can see that. I just freeze it. Are you okay? Yeah. Now this is your right pulmonary artery, the rounded one. Above that you can get arch. What you see is your right brachiocephalic trunk. This is your left common carotid artery, your left subclavian artery, and what you see here is descending artery. Okay. This is called as suprasternal view. Now we have subcostal view. In the subcostal view, there are two things you need to see. Coronal, like this, you keep in the subcostal area with the marker facing to the left and appreciate you can appreciate vertebra here this is the word pulsatile portion is aorta and what you see right to the aorta is your inferior vena cava which is collapsing are you clear about that okay. you, can, you can see this see beautiful okay this is the subcostal coronal view which is normal vertebra aorta and inferior vena cava now I just tilt it up. Can you see that? I just am tilting it up to appreciate four chamber view. See, I'm just tilting, and you can see that I am seeing four chamber view, and this is a four chamber view on subcostal coronal view. And here, I just please and show you. This is your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, interatrial septum left ventricle into ventricle so the four chambers and inter atrial into ventricle are so clear right atrium right ventricle tricuspid valve left atrium left ventricle mitral valve inter ventricle septum and this is your inter atrial septum are you clear this is your subcostal coronal view similarly i just tilt in such a way that can you see this this is called subcostal sagittal view where the marker is placed here like this and you can see this is vertebra this is the aorta descending aorta and also you can appreciate yeah you see beautiful you can appreciate two vessels this is a celiac artery i just freeze and show you yeah this is vertebra descending aorta what you see the branch here is a celiac artery and then this is a superior mesentric artery. Okay? This is subcostal sagittal view to look for aorta. Okay? Next, I will also show you the same way. Just tilt to the left a little bit. Okay? You can see, you can see, yeah, beautiful. You can see right atrium and you see the collapsing inferior cava. And what is connected here is the hepatic vein. Can you see that? And you can see the hepatic veins. See, this is the hepatic vein. There are three hepatic veins. Huh? And beautiful, you can see. Can you see? Appreciate that. So this is your inferior vena cava. It's collapsing. So you saw, you saw the difference between the aorta and the uh, inferior vena cava. Aorta is versatile. Okay, it's sturdy. And inferior vena cava is actually collapsing. So you have to, and it is always connected to the right atrium. Correct. So this is about subcostal sagittal view. So these are the important views one should master. So what I did here, if you if you listen to my conversation, I did only three things: A R T, align, rotate, tilt, to learn the art of echocardiography. Clear? Thank you so much.